Hello, and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and do the kernel exploit for 9.00. It is a few steps to get going, but once it uh, once we do get it going, it's pretty easy and it's a lot better than your 7.55. I think you're going to be pretty happy with it. So make sure you stay tuned and we'll get right into this. First thing we'll need to do is jump on and download an image file. This is going to be used for our USB device. We'll have to format it and it's going to always you're going to always going to need this USB device so you you can't use it for anything else so hopefully you got a spare one but yeah you can go ahead and just download it you can go ahead and download the whole thing if you want and have all the files but the only file we really need right here is the image file uh, we'll also need WinDisk 32 in order to format our USB device with the image so I believe link in the description for everything you can go ahead and just download that as well uh, we'll need a payload injector I'm just going to use this one. It says it's updated to 7.02, but it does work for 9.00 as well. Um, I went ahead and downloaded it already as well. And obviously, we're going to need Goal 10 by Sistro. Um, and it's already compatible with 9.00. So you can go ahead and download that as well. Okay, so I have everything extracted already. Um, I have my Goal 10. I extracted my Win32 as well as my image file image file is just located in here along with the uh, the web kit and kernel exploit we won't need that at this time this is just only if you're going to run a host uh, we just need the image file for our USB device so we'll go ahead and jump into our win32 directory and we can go ahead and install that just say yes and I accept and go through the process there create desktop and there we go doesn't take long to install. We don't need to view the README. Hit finish and it should just open up. Go ahead and browse for our image file. And that's located in our desktop and in our folder here. There we go. Now it may come up if you have more than one USB device plugged in. Um, just make sure you select the correct one. Once you do have it selected, just go ahead and hit right. Shouldn't take long at all. As you see, it is done. Now you'll need this USB each time you do the jailbreak, so just make sure that you mark it off and don't delete it. Go ahead and open up our payload ejector. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. So I already know my IP address for my PS4, so I'm just going to type that in now just so I have it done. OK, so now that we're over to the PS4, I will go over to Settings. We'll show you that I do not have the Goal 10 option, as well as I don't have debug settings. Go into System System Information, and you can see that I'm on 9.00, and my IP address is 10.0.0.223. Go ahead and back out of there. Go ahead and launch our browser. We no longer have to go through the clear and the, the cache or anything like that. We can go ahead straight into the website and go ahead and select PS4 9.00. I'm using Al as if's host. At uh, the time of this video, there probably will end up being more hosts that you can use, but uh, either host, they all work the same. So we'll go ahead and select a bin loader. And we'll give it a few moments here. It may freeze right there. Don't worry about it. That's part of the process. We're just waiting for a message to come up. Insert USB. Um, I've tried it with the USB plugged in, and it just went ahead and skipped this whole process and went to the payload process. So you may want to give it a test to see if it works for you as well. Okay, so now we can go ahead and insert the USB that we made. Uh, for some reason, there we go. Okay, I got it. So we're just waiting for a message to come up. Once it does come up, we should be good to go. Go ahead and hit OK. And we can go ahead and unplug our USB now. We no longer need it. If we ever do the jailbreak again, we'll need it. So just keep it handy. So let's go ahead and bring up our program. Okay, now that we have our payload injector up, we can go ahead and hit connect. And as you can see, it lights up green and it says connect. We'll go ahead and inject the payload. Payload inject it. There we go, Goal 10 2.0 loaded. So now we can go ahead and hit the PlayStation button, and that is basically it, guys. 
There we go, settings, our goal 10 is there, along with all the options. We can go ahead and enable the bin load server if we need to, or our FTP, both will work. Um, we'll go down to our debug settings. You can see that we do have our debug settings as well. But yeah, that's basically it for the video, guys. It's pretty simple to do. Um, it's a lot more stable than 7.55. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, yeah, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.